commiserations on allegations. I'm just going to ask how you're feeling right now. Do I have to push something? No, no you're good. Okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, how am I feeling? Um, <coughs> excuse me. Disappointment, of course. The, the bigger thing is disappointment. You know, we tried everything to avoid relegation, but at the end, yeah, it's hard to take when you have such a performance today. Do you think you've done enough today to at least pick up a draw? If we have done enough today? Do you think you've done enough to play the uh, you, you, you were at the game. You, oh, saw, yeah. you saw what happened at halftime. So I think their supporters have been really, no, they realized our performance. And even at the end when we went out, their supporters, so which have been great, they uh, realized and gave us a big applause for what we have done. The thing is, and that's why I was asking you, in the Premier League, it's so tight. Today was playing Huddersfield against Crystal Palace, and we were very equal, I would say. First half was our half, second half maybe went a bit more in their direction, but still at the end we had possibilities also to win this game. And then at the end it's the quality of maybe 20% of players like Zaha who decide such games in a quick movement in the penalty is the result of it. So we nearly had 8 or 10 penalties this season against us and had no for us. So there are reasons and I'm pleased and I have to talk a bit longer today because I'm pleased with the performance of my, my team today. We tried everything and this was really a team on the pitch. I was going to say, it, it, it was quite noticeable that um, many Palace fans mm. did applaud your team yeah. off map. I'm sure it doesn't make it particularly yeah. Yeah. much easier, does it? But yeah. It's nice to have it. As you said, it's hard to take, but still it's, uh, it shows that we are on the right way. Yeah? Although we have lost and this is a big disappointment, which is the most the most feeling for me at the moment it's disappointment of course but still the way my team performed today and how they were working the first half and the second half and even after the penalty which we have conceded they tried everything still and we had the possibility to score but the ball went um, far from the second post I would say you know, but very close so we didn't give up in no minute of the game I think every one of you knows, and me personally, for me, it's. I know that failure and success belong in a way together. So you can't be just always successful. We have been successful as a club for a long, long time. And um, one of the reasons were our supporters and all the, the people who made this club being this club. And now it's an important thing for us to go through all the details, what happened this season, and um, to learn out of this, the failure, I would say, because this makes a, a club stronger. And for me, it's. Great to be part of it because I realize that every day that this club is willing to do this. And the way my team played today um, showed that we are on the right way. But the result, of course, is, uh, is then disappointed. Do you feel of any confidence going into next season after performances? Yeah, when we learn from the right things, then definitely, yeah. Is this team good enough to bounce straight back? Okay. I will not talk about bouncing back because at the moment this is a disappointment, first of all, we have to take this and then go through all the details, and I really mean details, what happened and what, what were the reasons. And as I said today, we were so close to win here in away in Palace, um, and the penalty brings the game in another direction with the quality of a player like Zaha. So I think the Premier League has much of these players who decide the games in this direction. Is it, is it really, when you look at the finances in the Premier League, is there really any chance for a team like Huddersfield to survive this game? Yeah, if you learn out of the things which happened. And I think then you'll be in, in another way prepared. Before you look at those details, what's your gut telling you about what's been wrong this season and the reason why you're... You know, this is something where the club has to talk about it internally. So these are things which you really have to look at and internally and speak about it. And we have good people working there who, who know um, the things. And so we work um, within a group together. And this is important to talk about it internally. For me, it's important, first of all, to go through all the details, as I said. And then to make a club stronger is not just like um, going down and directly going up. You never know this in football. You can't, you, know, you can't promise it. But the thing is that I'm willing to, to work as hard that, it, that we come back in Premier League. And this is an important thing for me, you know, because I know that the, the club who, who joined the Premier League now for two years really enjoyed it. And our supporters enjoyed it. And 
for me, of course, as a manager, if you're ambitious, of course, yeah. Is it important then, so when you do have these discussions with the club at the end of the season, that you're both singing off the, you're both on the same track in terms of yeah. your decision? It's important. It's really important. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All the best.